Okay, here we are for Citizen's Eye in Central Lending Library today with a group of De Montfort University Performing Arts students who've been doing some interesting things in the library today. Can you tell us what you've been up to? Who wants to talk? <laughs> um, we, uh, we were told to do a site-specific work, so that's why we're here in the library. Um, and we were given this space behind us to work with and create a piece, a three to five minute piece of work to do with the library. Yeah, and what idea did you come up with? <laughs> Complex. Yeah, we, we came up with a few ideas. I mean, basically we took it right back to the roots and we were looking at the straight lines and, and we went right back to the roots and looking at straight lines, but then we got into the fact that this section is actually a music book section, so then we thought about having a beat and then doing some movement with it. And, and it, you can't really stop ideas going. When you start, when you're given a site-specific um, stimulus, you, you don't really know what you're going to come no. up with until, until you start working and then You go, then you go through, out, like, um, when you get site-specific, you can have a narrative or you can work around the space, but mm. we chose... A bit of both, didn't we? We had a bit of narrative about all the books and the music and etc. But then we also worked with the space through movement. Mm. So we, we really used the idea of the simplicity of coming to a library, taking out a book, and the noises it makes. And we created a rhythm with those noises, um, like leafing through a book and tapping a book, you know, when you're bored. Or um, yeah, and we each kind of took our own what they called aisle. Yep. and worked in there we did like a bit of a dance uh, it might have been like a 30 second thing and then we used the definition of the library and we used kind of a personal narrative as well, we each kind of had our own character in, in us so there was a slight bit of depth in there yeah. Were you actually told that you were going to be working in a library today? Only two days ago <laughs> oh, right. yeah. So what did you all think to that? Well, because yeah, it was exciting because we, we got let out into the wild. But no, <laughs> no it's nice that um, because until this morning we didn't know at all what it looked like. Yeah. Um, I or, did because I'm from Leicester. I've been here before. You guys, did. the rest yeah. of us yeah, no, didn't know. <laughs> um, didn't know what it looked like. So I mean, we none of us knew. What do you guys think? I was a bit anxious because I haven't been here before. I didn't know what it was going to be like. He said, "Oh, you're working in a library," but. Like there's three different spaces, they're all totally different, and because it's site so specific, you can't like sort of try and think, Oh, I'm gonna do this when I get there. You can't plan anything, you can't think, oh, I want it to be about this. Because literally, until we got this space, we had no idea what our piece was going to be based on. Because for all we knew, we could have been in a history section or a magazine section. Like, until we've seen that there was music and that there was oils, that's when we could actually structure the piece together. I think it's with um, wherever you are with site specific work, it's like um, your location is where you're going to draw everything from. And it's like we did draw like the historic, like some history of the library, obviously, because we know now it's closing down. So we sort of put that in as well as using the surroundings of the books and then obviously looking at the structure as well, like the aisles. And we sort of incorporated all of that into our piece because. I think it was it was necessary and it sort of reflected and I hope it came out to the audience the way that we wanted it to. Was it a totally different way that, from how you normally work? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Usually you work in a kind of bare, raw space with no history and because it's a new, like it's a new building, yeah. black, simple, and this was just so so interesting, so much fun to do. Yeah, and um, <laughs> did you enjoy it? Loved it, yeah. Yeah. and the workshop the other day as well. Absolutely. What did you do in that workshop? To do with site specific. Yeah. 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 Basically, we got taught by Citizen Five Nine Eight. Yeah. We're a theatre company, and they um, Dan gave us the workshop. It was basically like doing exercise like this without the actual site specific, but yeah. just imagining it using yeah. our heads and thinking about the space that we were in how to analyse the space when you do get to the site, yeah. which is the, you're doing your piece on how to analyse it in a different way than just look, just looking at a book um, and to look more into the history maybe of it or the shape of the room itself and things like that. So the workshop helped as well, didn't it? Definitely. Do you think it'll help you look at places differently in terms of potential performing definitely. areas? Yeah. 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 We've got a performance in the future, so definitely. Yeah. And will you consider 
coming back and doing something for us here. Oh, yeah, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want to us, <laughs> if you'll have us, yeah. Well, I've just said to one of the other groups, if you devise anything and you want to put it out there somewhere that's not in a theatre, then you're welcome back any time. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, while we're still open. But the other library is going to have space to work in as well. And that will give you an even greater dynamic, I think. So. But thanks for the interview today, Thank and I'm glad you enjoyed much. it. And good luck with your course. Okay. Thank you for your <laughs>